Have you ever wondered where rocks with so many different colors and textures come from? This is explained by the rock cycle, which features three types of rocks, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic, which can all change into one another. Igneous rock forms when magma or lava cools and hardens. I am an igneous rock, and I was born from a volcano. My name is basalt, and I can form amazing structures as I cool, shrink, and solidify into rock. The buildup of contraction forces causes patterned cracking, which can form beautiful columnar basalts. Look here! Here I am, about to get eroded by a waterfall! Erosion happens when surface processes break down rocks and move them to new locations. Here I go! Whee! Rocks can be transported by wind, water, and ice. I'm joining some other rocks going along this river. As we go, we tumble and get smoother and rounder. We also get sorted by our size. The larger sediments, like gravel, don't get very far, but smaller sediments can be carried further. Sand gets a bit further than gravel, and tiny clay particles go all the way out to the ocean. Sedimentary rocks are formed when products of erosion and other particles accumulate and are subsequently cemented together. Someday, I might become a fragment in a type of sedimentary rock called a conglomerate, which has large rounded fragments with smaller sediments, all cemented together by calcite or quartz. Sediments near the ocean shore come largely from eroded shore sediments like clay, while those far from the ocean shore often come from dead organisms. I am a sediment who lives at the bottom of the North Atlantic Ocean. Long ago, I was a fragment of a tiny shelled organism called a foraminifera. As we get buried, we ocean floor sediments get compacted and cemented together. Cement fills in the spaces around the sediments with precipitated minerals, binding them together to form rock. After being buried, compacted, and cemented, I become part of a sedimentary rock called limestone. I live near a subduction zone, a region where pieces of the Earth's crust called tectonic plates collide, and one goes under the other. As I get closer to the hot core at the center of the planet, I undergo metamorphism, and recrystallize to form marble, which is a type of metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rocks are formed thanks to temperature and pressure changes inside the Earth. Different metamorphic rocks form from different parent rocks. For example, sandstone exposed to heat and pressure can become quartzite, but if my friend basalt were exposed to heat and pressure, she could turn into greenstone. After burial, partial melting of the rock can occur forming magma, the raw material from which new igneous rocks are formed, and the rock cycle continues.